Some obviously outside contender series news yesterday. John Jones announced he was vacating the light heavyweight title. Is that official? Is that it's official? Yeah. Okay. So I actually tonight while we were here, I went live on Sports Center in between one of the fights and announced all that. So Dominic Reyes, Jan Blagovitz for the title. <coughs> yeah, it's for the vacant title. Okay, cool. John then said negotiation starting with you guys about heavyweight is that true could that be his next move well i know that john right now wants to take time and do things that he wants to do um i mean if you follow him on instagram i've been doing a lot of shooting he likes to work with these attack dogs and lifts a lot of weights and i think he's having fun you know living his life a little bit and i think when this whole heavyweight thing plays out we'll see what what works for him so is that the move, having Garni versus Miocic and then see if John can slip in there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the right outcome is going to be or the right, you know, but we'll see. He uh, recently revealed that he's, he's walking around at, I think, 220 pounds. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got a fair bit to cut before fight night. Does his size phase you at all? Like, obviously, he's one of the, I guess, bigger middleweights. You're all, you're all weighing in at the same weight. But but does that phase you at all? Nope, never has, never will. I fought a heavyweight in boxing, in kickboxing, and I will plan on fighting a heavyweight never met at some point. But, yeah, this is martial arts. This is skills. Size makes a difference if you know how to use it and if you're allowed to make a difference but yeah i'm <laughs> they're always surprised when they step across the cage for me and they realize how how, how long i am how, how my frame they have to test my my frame rate as well and then when they feel me in the clinch and they feel my strength and yeah they always in for a rude awakening Another fight you've been talking about for a little little bit now is is that john jones super fight he's moved up to heavyweight in terms of that move, uh, does that impact your plans on the super fight with him? Would you want that at light heavyweight? Would you consider, I know Eugene's talked about you moving up to heavyweight at some point in your career. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on that? 100%, it doesn't change my plans. My plans are still going as forward as planned. So yeah, same thing. No thoughts on him moving up to heavyweight at all in terms of what what he's leaving okay, well, okay, yeah, well, look look how long it took him to move up to heavyweight finally and like i was saying he was expecting me to do it straight away when i've never defended my belt yet so i've defended my belt twice now i want to defend it a few more times and then do what i set out to do but yeah hot color the color black on his part so yeah, go put some fucking muscle on your chopstick legs and go fight Francis Uganda, watch him break you. I hope he doesn't though. <laughs> Maybe he does, who knows.
I thought when I when the fight was over, I thought it was me checking his kick because I'm decent, you know. I'm, let's be humble, I guess. I'm decent at checking kicks. I do check kicks in the past and they don't kick anymore. And I have a mindset that when somebody check my kick, I'm gonna do it again to break my leg. So it's just a mindset of just be hard on you, be harder than than, than, than the other guy. But it didn't come from the check. It came from when I kick him on the knee. I literally kick him on the knee, but he don't check it. There's a couple of videos that show a slow mo, like I kick him on the knee, like right on the side, and I kick him behind the knee. So, hmm. you know, there's there's not too much meat in there. Your nerve is gonna go out. We see, we see Demetrius did that to Sehudo in the second fight, but you know, Sehudo got a big part of balls. He 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 handled it. He made sure he can fight through because it's all mental. You know, like when he kicked my calf, I was like, oh, you know, if, if I take one more of those, my leg is gonna go away. And I feel my experience came when young Lineker hit me hard right in the elbow and my arm went numb i didn't feel my arm like i was like for 20 seconds i was like holding my arm on my belly because my arm was dead but mm -hmm. you know i didn't say it in the corner because i don't want to get i don't want to put more stress in the coaches and more on me and i was just like whatever you know i, I got another arm and two legs so <laughs> let's see if i can get away with that and it, it's a fight game you know sometimes sometimes you get a solid shot in your face and you don't go down Sometimes somebody barely touch and you go out. So it is a game of inches and you know, you better be prepared for anything. And that's what I brought that night. I brought preparation and a will to die. Like I like I mean it. I'm a lot of guys say it's like, oh I'm willing to die, I'm I'm gonna scrap, blah blah blah. And when 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 the lights came on, they get smaller. I'm like I always play around, like I'm like those toys that when you put them in water they grow up. That's me when I get in the cage. I just get bigger than that I'm, I'm usually I am. What did you think of the stoppage? I thought it was a real. It was a little bit quick, but I think it was the right one, seeing as though O'Malley um, didn't really protest it whatsoever. Yeah. He kind of. He kind of. He wanted us to be out of there. Um, for whatever reason, um, his mind I mean, was. We know the reason. He was probably in a lot of pain. Helwani, it's a fist fight. Why is he? The guy deal with stand. that. Deal with that. Oh deal with God. it. It's a fist fight. Like, he couldn't stand. Is, you expect not to get hurt? It, no, but I'm saying that's why he didn't protest. You know, sometimes when someone doesn't want to tap, no, they're just like, no. oh, thank God. No? Well, I'm saying he shouldn't have done that. I'm saying it's a fist fight. Yes, he was in pain, obviously. Listen, if you don't have the expectation that you're going to be in pain when you get in a fist fight... I'm not saying he didn't, but in that... I think if he's not hurt, if his leg isn't hurt, he's protesting that stoppage. If we're just... Okay. Look, All right. right yes. You know what I mean? But there I were other think. factors involved. Yeah. I, to what that says to me, and then the fact that he let him cart him out. If they tried carting me out with an ankle injury, I would have fought, I would have fought someone <laughs> over that. You ain't putting my ass... You're not putting my ass on a stretcher because I got an ankle injury. I got one other good leg, and I'm going to hop all the way to the back Leave me the F below. Wow. So you, yeah, I, you took I that as a sign of up. weakness. Absolutely. Yeah. You think he needs to grow up? Hey, hey listen, it's part, it's part of growing up. When you, in life, you have failures. You have struggles. You're going to learn from them. He pro, you know, obviously he hasn't lost a fight to this point, so he probably hasn't experienced those really hard things. And, and, then, and really, at this point, embarrassment also, right? Because he was building himself up and he got his ass kicked by Cheeto Vera. He's probably a little embarrassed by that as well. Hey, that's, that's part of it. Get, get up, rub some dirt on it, hop yourself to the back. Hey, you know, you got a coach, right? Macy Barber was tough enough. She put her arm around me and Mark, and we hopped to the back. And, dude, she was in so much pain. She didn't need a stretcher, right? Mm. If someone tries stretching me, I'm going to face shove them and get them out of my face. I'm going to hop to the back or crawl to the back or, you know, army crawl. To, I'm going to get to the back without a damn stretcher. That was embarrassing. Mm.